Alright guys, XFA Shogun here, going to bring you another UFC, which will be, what was it, 152? One, one 152, one Joseph Benavinez and Demar Demetrius Johnson for the UFC flyweight belt. I have to fight them in bantamweight in the game because there isn't a flyweight, but I think it's 135. And then, um, I, I went Joseph Benavinez because I like to use him more in the game. I didn't really know that much about them apart from like, They've had lackluster performances against the champion. Oh, need to move the mic. Um, and that uh, that they are about both of them are a bit undersized for their division, so it's I'm happy about this 135 division. And other what I find the lower the weight classes go, the faster they get, the faster they get, and pretty much the more decisions they they get. Like, all the fights are really really close, like that McCall and um. Mighty Mouse, that was really close. But I think Benavidez to carry. Oh, I didn't know he had to fight. Because I, I didn't really follow the lighter weight classes. I just like, I like the welter weight to the middle weight up. So what I really follow. But I, I find it very entertaining. Boost mobile. I just add. It's because they're quite new. It's the main thing for six tone. That's like I'm leaving the main fight weight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. This man so fly is a okay, He stands five feet three inches tall. I bet Weighing both of them are very good. 135 pounds, 9.6 stone. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Well, the flags on that. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. I'm going to use just for a few minutes. And when the action begins, well, like him. He's just like a wee tank. Demetrius Johnson, Joseph Benavides. And here we go. <laughs> oh, nice counter left hook right there. I stuck it on advance, so it was meant to yeah. wow, I bet when they see me get light, like, um, when they see me get into the heavier weight classes, they aren't as fast, they didn't use movement as much. Here. Obviously, because they're bigger guys now, they use power, but like, it's quite, it can be quite entertaining to. Oh, I, I'm not too sure what his moves are, so I'm just figuring them out. Well, both of them have it done the knee. But it's a good strong kick then. Body shot. See if he can pass anything. Any specialized. I, I'm just, I don't even think this is the easiest difficulty. Because my ground game sucks in this. My ground game sucks in this game. Brother! Stand up, not too bad. He dove anyway, right just, into that. Oh, he lets him up. And he cursors. And another. Those are doing damage, Joe. See, I'm not too sure who these guys even fight. I miss quite a lot of the fights because I just. I don't know. I like. I just don't know why I miss them really. I should actually probably watch the division I'll be in. And he dives on him with this punch when he's down. Very nice. Very nice. Good punch. He lets him up. Nice knee to the body. I just, it's because they're very new, but I did watch WEC, but I just, I didn't really know the difference, like, I was like, wow, mm, right like can they really, I would new nice bantamweight was right under hands. weight, featherweight, nice body shot and then hook I just didn't know the difference, I think it's 135, 135, maybe 125 for flyweight, I'm not too sure, but, eh, my, that, I just watched that Shogun Vera, and eh, uh, like. oh, Machida done good in that, Shogun still my favorite player, man. I looked at him and got the title shot, but if you, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but of course he's going to notice this. But John Jones, they were fighting for the number one contender spot, and John Jones had beat every guy on that, and that, every heavyweight fighter on that card at the final three spot. The best one ever to go against him was true. He destroyed Shogun, but with Machida, Machida done good. I, I think Machida won the round. He, he done really good. Like, he actually Joe, hit John Jones and, and stuff, man. But John didn't again. get to the second round. Right, John, Jones standing guillotine them. Sick technique. Oh, knockout. Oh, right. Oh. Well, I think I, I think this fight will go the way of Joseph Benavidez anyway. Um, with the spectacular finish. I, I I do think it will go the Joseph Benavidez. Because Let's he's finished, he finishes more Man, fights. But anyway, we're going to do another fight in this one. Yeah, Brian Stan versus uh, Michael Bisping. Right and I'll want Michael Bisping to win that because I think he does and deserve the title shot as much as I love Brian Stan. I didn't really like English players that much. Michael Bisping's an alright guy and 
he deserves a title shot. I think, I think he would give Anderson himself the best goal in that division right now because I just I don't think like Chael Chael really done him good the first time, didn't do him good the second time. You should not have me, nah, done him. Pretty much everybody. Kung Lee, I would love to see fight him. I think, I think, the, if Michael Bisbeck feels, I think Kung, Kung Lee should fight him for his retirement fight. Kung Lee's like 40, so I think Kung, Kung Lee's not interested. I'm not sure. I always remember, I remember everything before I come into these videos and then I forget, but if you like, if you see this video you like, eh, uh, you like it, go check out our other videos about other predictions and see if I got it correct or no, but I don't know why it's Chiu Sun because I got that completely incorrect, I thought Chiu would win, but he didn't have Michael Bisping in this division, Michael Bisping is a middleweight, see I don't begin at all, put on advanced for this, so it'll be a wee bit more entertaining, but I, I won't, Benavides to win that fight because uh, I think he's more well rounded in the game. If I went by Michael Bisping, alright, there he's there. Um, Brian stands here, yes. Always go with the O2. Dan Mergliata, I think he's the best ref. Because he's that, that fight. We. Pat Barry, check Congo, he done a really good job in off stopping that. Oh, and Benz and Anderson defense is lightweight fighting. I want Frank Edgar to win that. You just kind of count Frank out, he's amazing. I think this would be a really close fight. Just go for the fight. Keep timed in. Right. Are you ready? I think Are you Stan ready? will take me down. But I think Bisping's got it on the feet, but Dan's definitely got it on the ground. Oh, <laughs> he's so slow right now. Oh. Spin. Never really used Bisping either, he used Superman punches. Oh. Oh. Dum -dum -dum. With a heavy fast kick, bang. Only does that a big kick. This this pad's a wee bit a wee bit sticky a bit. Bump, 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 bump. Oh I best gonna best bang's pretty worried for this. Oh I thought he's going for like heavy punch. Oh, damn it, oh. I'm trying to make it fight a bit realistic and they'll just counter everything Stan does and beat him. But I think Bisbane's got the better head boxing, tighter boxing, because most British fighters do have a lot better boxing than American fighters, but we're always shit on the ground, like, for an aggressive standpoint. But I think, I think a lot of fighters are coming from Britain now that are good at jiu-jitsu rather than the wrestling, because in, American, in America you... You, you're a wrestler since you're young, and plus we're American football, which is sort of like rugby, but rugby's a wee bit more focused on passing and stuff than American football, but... Oh! Oh, cut by Stan. Got out of advanced position. Try and move on. Get on now. Oh, there we go. Boom. 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 Right, well... That's how I hope it goes. I like this thing, I would like to see him win a championship for the entire I think he's due, very well due a title shot.
do, guys. I just start appreciating my hand about there. Oh, oh, should I start to get there? Anyway, guys. Happy XF, children. Oh, I broke his nose. And this has been my prediction for BFD 152, the cool main event and main event. Goodbye, guys.